Shia Udeneaki, Shia Udeneaki, Danche, Kluani Adamek Uye, Dachloidi Ayahat, Ageo Hatu Asauk, Genach Chish Klek, Asian Asua, Genach Chish to Anquich An, Genach Chish Kwanlan Dan Yukon. Hello, my name is Kluani Adamek and I am from the Dachloidi Killer Whale Clan. My Klinket name is Age, and it's so important to acknowledge Klake, our grandparents. I'm joining you from the traditional territory of the Kwanlan Dun and Ta'an First Nations in the Yukon Territory. Gnachchish, thank you. I shared a little bit about myself in my traditional languages of Southern Toshone and Clinket. I continue to learn who we are as Yukon First Nations people. We are a people that deeply value, honor, and respect the roles of women. We always have. We're a matrilineal culture. And so, traditionally, our matriarchs would often guide and direct the speakers of the people, otherwise known as the chiefs. This important role of forging trade relationships, forging marriage alliances, and ensuring that all of the business that needed to take place in the community was happening, was all guided and directed by our matriarchs. I definitely continue to see the ways in which we lead here in the Yukon not quite being aligned nationally. What do I mean by that? Well, to be clear, misogyny and patriarchy are definitely not reflective of who we are as Yukon First Nations or of the traditional structures and the ways in which we respect women in decision making. And so I saw these gaps and felt we need to have more women at the table. We need to have different generations at the table. And so this is where I had to get a bit vulnerable. I had to really look to myself to say, if not me, then who? And so I submitted my name to become the Yukon Regional Chief, knowing that I come from a strong people that continues to value and uphold women, and knowing that the voice that I would bring would be a voice that would be supported by my region. But furthermore, knowing that in every and any place where decisions are being made for women or those who identify, how important it is that women are in every place and space to be part of those decisions. And so I gave myself permission to put my name forward and to know that yes, I can serve. That yes, this was the best way for me to take action and to know that my voice needed to be heard in the same way that other male voices were heard from across this country. There aren't any prerequisites to being a leader. It's not about having a title or being in a specific role. Leadership is about showing up who you are as you are, being authentic, leading from a place of values and principles, and leading from that place and staying true to yourself. And so some might say, well, you're in an elected position. What do you mean? Yes, I hear you. There's some irony in that, but let me explain. Contribution is the most important thing. For me, joining an executive of predominantly men, creating a space in my office where other Indigenous women could learn and lead, it was all about creating that space and by celebrating and acknowledging and contributing. There's a story that dates back to over 10,000 years ago. And the way that the story was shared with me is this. The killer whale people, the Dekloedi, came to this insurmountable, huge glacier they were traveling to make it back to their traditional homelands. And so they came to this glacier and they didn't know where they were going to go. Were they going to try to climb and go above? Were they going to try to follow it and see how far long it went? It was the matriarchs that said, we'll go. We see a small opening there and so we're going to go and we're going to try to go through it. They didn't know if they would survive. They didn't know if they'd make it through, but they were fearless. And that is who we are. We are fearless because we understand the power of reciprocity. We understand that it's important to leave things in a better state and place than when we found them. We understand that the importance of connecting to the land and expressing gratitude is truly what grounds us and gives us the power and the ability which we have to lead. Think of when you're walking by the water, for example. Take a moment of gratitude to thank the water for all that it gives you, to thank the land for giving you everything you need. It's always about making sure that you're leaving things in a better place and space than when you found them. It's about contribution. All of us as women have been through so much 
And so this is about us finding ways to be supportive of each other. It's about always making sure that we're making that contribution and investment in the future generations. That is about reciprocity. There's so much that we can share with the world and that the world can learn from us as women. These are the challenges that we have for this future generation. And these are the challenges that we need to accept together. We need to give ourselves the permission to step into our own power. We need to give ourselves the permission to connect and to express gratitude to the land. And we need to give ourselves the permission to take care of ourselves. Because if we're not being taken care of, then how are we going to contribute to everybody else? Thank you.